I surrender. No. The first one. Mm -hmm. Then I just like. Chin do. my service tomorrow before you leave welcome 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 to the special edition broadcast of the reasons why the 12 apostles were chosen what it means financially this is the 12 disciples of money thank you justice god bless you i am going to give deep secrets you need to be online today. I'm going to give out special gifts as well. And don't miss the last edition. This is the second edition. It's in four parts, four series. Don't miss it. I'm going to give special support to a business that will be the overall winner. So make sure that you participate in every series. Make sure you follow the instructions to win and make sure that you can be the part of the overall winner to win special investment amount for your business or your startup. That is my special offer to you, but make sure that you will follow. Jesus, Francis, you are welcome, Nikita. It's a long time. God bless you. Please share this video. Please share this video. Please send a comment. Share it and make a comment. And follow the instruction. Follow the instruction. Follow the instructions, please. This is money matters, so make sure you follow the instruction, make sure you understand it, and make sure you send a comment to let me know you are here, all right? God bless you. I'm come to give special prayers to every single person that is online. I'm come to give special financial prayers. If there's any anointing, apart from the anointing to live a righteous life there's if there's any anointing you should seek for is the anointing to prosper apostle paul said brethren i wish above all things that you may prosper not only you that your soul there's a dimension to financial prosperity and people think that it's a bad thing to preach about prosperity you know but it has a significance it has a level of praise and worship when you are financially sound that tears that you share in your prayers most of them are spirit of poverty tears that you share but when you understand the concept of financial attraction and you're able to do what i tell you or as the spirit of god leads me to share with you the deep meanings of these then you will understand. So kindly share this video, kindly comment, and follow the instruction, and God will bless you. Terry, God bless you. Terry, God bless you. May the Lord lead you, may the Lord guide you as we continue in this meeting. I'm going to start in the next few minutes, but I want you to continue to Share the video and send your comment in. Good afternoon. Good evening, my wife. My precious wife. The pillar of my life. The symbol of my happiness. The epitome of my joy. May the God of heaven bless you. 
Hey, hey Rabbi, now God bless you. Share this video and listen to the deep listen. Knowledge is the fundamental demand for financial stability. If you cannot read a book a day, the Bill Gates and all these top millionaires, they read 50 books a year. You are not reading books, but I have studied and I've been led to share with you the things that you are unable to understand because you didn't know. But as God has led me, God has helped me to understand and to know these things. These are the things that I want you to know and to understand. That God will help you to know some of these deep secrets. That it will help you to grow spiritually. If you are sound financially, automatically you'll be strong in faith. Trust me. So prepare. The next five minutes we are coming. The teaching is about to start. So please, Ebo, welcome. Please share this video. Be a blessing to me. Be a blessing to somebody. Share this video and win some, some monies in your pocket. Hey, my brother, my brother, Kweku Hadi, please share this video. If you love me, share this video and pay attention and listen to the blessing that God is about to release through my life to you. This is the 12 disciples of money, how to attract money. I came to America with zero account. And I'm going to give you the secret how you can make money follow you. May the Lord bless you as the Lord helps you to understand this concept. KB Rush, share this video. I miss you guys. I miss you guys. Share this video, please. If you love me, share this video. And God is going to bless you. I'm speaking on the title... How to attract wealth. How to let money follow you. So if you have any if you have any um Please stay tuned. 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 We are starting the next few minutes. How to attract wealth. That is the 12 disciples of money. You need to know this need to understand it. We need to let this be. Share this video. In the next few minutes we are coming on to speak. The secret of your blessing lies in this. The secret of your blessing lies in this. One minute more, and I will start my lectures. The 12 Disciples of Money. One minute more. Hey, my sister, my uncle, I miss you guys. Ekia. God bless you. Ishmael, God bless you. The 12 disciples of money. You need to understand the concept that Jesus used in selecting the 12 disciples as he was led by the Spirit of God. And as he was led by the Spirit of God through these 12 disciples, I told you one day God opened my eyes. As I'm a financial evangelist, God opened my eyes to understand the concept behind these selections. And he told me every single disciple who of what they represent when it comes to attracting wealth. Tina, God bless you. God bless you. 
share this video and let it go viral let us overcome the powers of darkness and the powers of poverty by sharing this video and the lord who has called me to be a blessing financially will lead me to bless you and to bless others as well as you share every shared secret is a milestone away from poverty so anytime that you come to get a grasp of a little understanding you are moving away from poverty and any time that you give out by even sharing this video is a sign of a step away from poverty so you are not just sharing it ruby god bless you receive your blessing right now listen i am not a pastor i'm only a believer a christian who has been gifted with deep secret in attracting wealth and i'm speaking on the 12 disciples of money i have the unction and called by god the most high to speak on these matters every business that i've made that has failed every business that i've made that has succeeded they are journeys that i've taken experiences that i've gathered combined with that level of experience and knowledge i make these revelations known to you I want you to contribute into my life. Gloria Safo, God bless you. Let this go viral. Aleno, my dear one, God bless you. I miss you all. May the Spirit of God use me today to break that limitation that you have created in your mindset. Last week, we did the first series and I spoke on three disciples. That is the Spirit that was on John. That's the love of God. That is the love and the passion that you should have to attract money. The second one was on Peter. And the last but not the least was on Philip, the power. Peter, Peter had the spirit of faith that attracted money. That is the power to attract money. The, the last but not the least was Philip. That was last week. I spoke on the power that was on Philip, that he was able to vanish and appear in another city. And because this world is full of evil, you need to get a level of anointing to protect even the money that you make. Otherwise, the witches, don't tell me witches don't have power. There are two kinds of spirits in this world. And so you need to have the right spirit to attract good success. And good success comes from God. So if you don't have the anointing and the power to carry the prosperity that is supposed to come your way, you lose it. And I've lost, I have I've gone bankrupt not once, not twice. But this revelation kept me and kept me on, toe, on my toe to be able to come this far. So in order for you to step up, step, step up and be above poverty, you need to get this understanding. So please share this video and immediately I'm about to finish or in on my journey of giving out this knowledge, I'll be giving out secret codes. So the first thing that will let you qualify is that you need to listen throughout this program. And this program, last week I gave out one code, this, this, this week I'm going to give two codes. And next week is going to be three codes and next always going to be four codes so follow me i'm giving out two codes this one if you are foreigner and you are not based in ghana you're going to get a hundred dollars for every single person that follows this instruction every single person that follows but if you are within ghana every single person that follows this instruction <coughs> excuse me is going to get a hundred ghana cities but if you don't follow all the instruction i normally will split it to all of you the 100 cities are split, but if you follow every single one of you follows it, every single person is going to get a 100 cities. All the people that won last week, two people, they didn't follow all the instructions. So I had to split. There were two that, that did it. So I gave them 100 cities. I mean, they split. So follow the instructions so that you can get it. God bless you, Hans. Yes, I have four books. Two are out. Hans, I'm answering your question. Vorket, Vorket Hans. I have four books. 
two are out and two are yet to be published. The 12 disciples of money. The reason why Jesus chose the 12 disciples, there's a reason why Jesus spoke unto certain people that listen, go here, go and find a donkey. There's a scripture that is, there's a reason behind it. But today I'm speaking on Matthew. Matthew. I'm beginning the second series now. I'm speaking on Matthew. What does Matthew represent? Matthew was a task collector. Matthew was a task collector. So, what does it represent? It means accountability. You cannot prosper when you don't have a sense of accountability, a sense of responsibility. Some of us buy food and buy things and because they give them change in coins, they give it back to the, uh, not because they want to give, there's a difference, not because they want to give, but they give it back to them, to the sellers because they feel it's a, just a coin. So, oh, take it. If you have that, if you don't have that self-discipline to be able to manage the resources, you know, manage your finances, make sure you can act even to yourself, whether you are the business owner or you are, you know, working for someone, make sure your documentation, your appropriation of income and your finances are on point. You see, he, Jesus put this way, that he who has and is not able to keep the little that is given to him, even the one he has will be taken away from him and be given to another. Share this video, please. Mr. Hans, I'll let you have the book. I have written four books, like I was saying earlier on, that the tidbits of business management and number two um i wrote on the 101 lessons in marriage and number three uh the 12 disciples uh, of money and i have the last one that is the poems and quotes so all these books two are out and two will be released soon as the spirit of god you know enables me but i'm trying to teach on this topic because it's very dear to my heart um, as we just continue on the matthew issue matthew was a task collector jesus called him and he represents accountability and asked me why would matthew be a task collector and be the one not handling money but rather what the most of the monies of jesus the coffers that is the we call it um the the not a cashier but someone who keeps stock of the money right was being done by judas so matthew how were they able to know if the monies were properly used monies was withdrawn was used for the uh, public it was always written and documented by matthew so the representative of matthew in the ministry of Jesus was to write down document every financial transaction and so Jesus called him and I'm saying that you cannot prosper if you don't have the mindset that you can manage the letter that is given to you please share this video please share this video the next few minutes I'm going to end it and I want you to succeed and I want you to prosper and I want you to make it. It doesn't matter your level of income. If you are not able to cut your coat according to your size, if you are not able to keep receipts, if you are not able to be organized, if you know that you are earning five, 500 Ghana cities um, income and you are renting a house that costs 2,000 Ghana cities, how will you be able to manage even to work to save right so you end up overspending and being wasteful 
and being wasteful. Oh, someone said beza. No, there's another word for it. So kindly notify him. There's another word. Gloria Safo. Oh, Gloria, you see, I now got you. You are not the one. So Kate, you are welcome. Gloria, you, I didn't recognize you. My best friend, one of my best friends, Gloria, is online. God bless you. Share this video. Let it go viral. Let it go viral. Send a comment and make sure that it goes viral. So God has a reason why he will not give you one million dollars. Now, so he will gradually test your ability to manage your finances by giving you that level of struggle you're going through, that level of salary that is coming your way, that level of financial opportunity that is coming your way. It is all for you to learn to manage the match. If you are unable to manage the little, how can you release the match? If you are unfaithful in the little, how can you release the match? It's so deep. So among all the disciples, Jesus thought it wise and said, "Ah, I will be so focused on my ministry and I may not have the chance to know this money goes here, this offering came here and all that. So why don't we have an accountant that will manage the resources? And that was why Matthew became part. That is what Matthew. If you read the background of Matthew, Matthew got to a certain point where he was so versed in accounting that he was the only disciple that was able to convince the Jewish that Jesus was a Jewish. All the disciples, none of them were able to prove, but his ability to analyze and calculate and read people's minds and put down structures and systems in place. He, after the death of Jesus Christ, he was the only disciples mandated or however called to be able to write down the genealogy of Jesus and calculate the instances and the proofs of all for the Jews to be convinced that Jesus was not just uh, what we call an outsider, but part of them. There's a reason. So have a grasp on your finances. Make sure that everything is tabulated. Don't waste money. Don't spend anyhow. Don't mismanage. Make sure that these monies are properly accounted for, even your own money. I have a problem with people who spend without, you know, doing uh, what you call a forecast or what we call a preview of what their finances or how it's going to be like. You know, they go to the market, they don't write anything down, they don't budget, they just carry their bag and they go to the market and they just spend. So they get home and they realize that, what? Is that how much I spend? Oh, Ghana money is no good, Ghana money is no good. No, you need to get a grasp of what you are spending. Know that, listen, I'm not spending more than 100 cities this week. Let me use it this way, let me do that this way. No kind of waste. And doing that, you are able to prove to God that, listen, if I'm able to manage the little, much can be given to me. And doing that, let me tell you, not only would you be able to manage your money, people will come to you to manage their money for them. People will have confidence in you. People will have trust with money with, when it comes to money. People will have trust in you. And they'll be able to give to you without you asking for it. Yeah. So that is one. Number two, number two, I'm speaking on the 12 disciples of money. The 12 disciples of Jesus had a representative when it comes to finance. And if you were able to follow these things, you were able to attract money. So the second series, make sure that you are accountable for your money. Matthew, that is what Matthew represents. Mark. Mark is an example of what a secretary does. 
those who own businesses. Mark wrote down most of the stories that Jesus was able to prove that, listen, everything that is written in the book of Mark is a calculated, uh, 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 what do you call it? Documentation of everything Jesus did. He was a way, uh, as was a man, that was that did not make most of the scriptures. He made sure that everything that he he proved a point. He proved a point. That means that whatever miracle that Jesus did, or whatever instances that he was able to give a proof of them. God bless you, Hilson. So Mark was more or less the secretary of the of the ministry. So make sure that if you have a business. The one that is able to file documents, no coordinate issues, handle matters, and all those kind of things, you have them in place. Because one day when you are not around, these are the people that will fetch out this information to be a blessing. One day when you are not around. Mark is not just an apostle that was taking as a secretary and was also able to document i mean happenings or history he was the only disciples that was able to go as far as establishing a church in egypt it's called the church of alexandra and because he was so concerned about keeping the very essence and the ministry of the true ministry of the church you know he wasn't able to do like establishing a lot of churches around and all that but he was able to be stable and 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 focus to make sure that the ideology is not lost and that is how it is the ability to know where you are coming from the ability to know that listen oh you know where you are coming from oh sonny you need to be careful that you don't do what other people are doing. You cut, you do things based knowing very well that, listen, where I'm coming from is hard. When I'm spending, I need to be careful or how I spend. So gradually, you don't increase your expenditure when you know that, um, I mean, you have debts to pay. You need to know where you are coming from and you know that you have to settle some of these debtors. So you do things based on the information that you know is written that even if you owe, you need to document it and write them based on the fact that you will pay. So you will spend based on certain things. And so you don't just waste money, but you put in enough effort to make sure that you have detailed write down of your income and your expenditure to ensure that you don't lose the, the, the sight of the fact that you have other matters to handle all right so you know that if you can uh, handle um, your soakings with your gary and your small uh, uh, what you call uh, granites you better eat that right now and use instead of going to buy fried rice and use some of the money to pay your debtors because when you don't write it down you always forget to pay and because you don't pay, it becomes an ever burden or problem to you. And you, if you are not careful, you're going to have problem. Because he who is unable to get a grasp of your finances, you are not able to handle another man's own. That is the problem. The last disciple that I want to speak on is the disciple that we least speak about Thomas Thomas was not just a disciple that we call the doubting Thomas please share this video share this video I'm about to release a special prayer even before the end of this program I'm about to really share this video. Let it go out at the 12 disciples of man. And last week, if you don't didn't listen to the video last week about the faith 
the love and the power to attract wealth. This we are speaking this week is more for business oriented mindsets. That is, you need an accountant, you need a secretary, but you also need a doubter. Thomas. Thomas is called the doubting Thomas. Thomas was the one that brought the best scriptures out of Jesus. He said that I am the way, the truth, and the life. It was based on the question that Thomas raised in the ministry when Jesus was preaching. He said, I'm going to a place to prepare a place for you. And where I'm going, you cannot come now. But later when I finish, I'm going to bring you there. And, and, said that, and, and Thomas was the one who questioned Jesus. We don't know the way, so show us the way. So that is why Jesus was able to come up with that scripture and said that, I am the way, the truth, and the life. That is, that is Thomas. So having somebody to challenge your faith, having someone to underestimate you, having someone to, to pull the best out of you, it always comes with someone who would doubt your ability. That is your secret, your, not a secret, your enemy. You have opposers. You have challenges of your life. You need them to bring the best out of you. It got to a point where Jesus was, 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 was reported dead. And all the disciples came with the same voice, with the same announcement. Thomas was the only person who came out and said, Until I feel his hands. Until I feel his hands. I will not believe. And he came out with these scriptures. That when Thomas, Jesus revealed himself to the disciples, Thomas bowed eight days. He made this profound statement in the Bible. He bowed to Jesus and said, My Lord and my God. One of the most profound scriptures in the Bible. Every scriptures that was raised in the Bible that is so profound that we mostly use now are the things that Thomas doubted Jesus. And because he doubted him, he had to bring out the deeper <laughs> oil out of Jesus. And so Jesus always makes those statements based on that fact. Bring out the best of Jesus. And that's why Jesus made that statement. He said, blessed are those who, who have not seen, yet believe. These are powerful scriptures. Please share this video. I speak into the life of every single person that is giving up. And as the Lord leads me, and as the Lord is leading me right now, any man or woman that is in your life that you see as your enemy it's not necessarily your enemy god has strategically placed them around you so that they may challenge you so they may bring the best out of you that landlord that want to suck you out of the house god is taking you to another step to move to a better neighborhood to own your own house to go to a better land to work harder there is a reason God is pulling you out. Share this video and let the Lord be a blessing to someone. There is a reason why you are being opposed in your office because God wants you to apply to a better job. God wants you to go to a better uh, status in terms of your workplace. God wants you to establish your own business. So you need to be doubted. You need to be proved. You need to, there's a better way that you can get to that you are not getting to and god has given you all the reason for you to move on and you don't want to move on so you have to, he need to send you opposes he need to send doubters in your life so that the best can come out of you so that you can fetch the deeper waters in your spirit to bring out for the benefit of those who doubt you for the benefit of those who doubt you in fact thomas ministry was so powerful that when the disciples shared shared the world that you go to asia you go to yeah thomas was taken to no other place than the land of buddhism that is india so when he got there that was the only 
disciple that God there and establishes establish uh, churches all over the all over India. Most of the indigenous people that we see uh, Christians in India that we see they were all seeds that were planted by the Apostle Thomas. So the best of the best normally will come out of you when you have people that doubt you. When, when, when you have people don't, they, they don't believe in you. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay to feel that way. But I'm speaking to your life right now that now you understand that any time that you see opposition come your way, any time that you feel that um, um, you don't merit that, don't be worried. Go deep down and bring the best out of you. So, I, Matthew is a tax collector. Mark was the secretary that kept records. Make sure that you don't lose the fact that even in your work, in your office, in your business, wherever you are, even when you pronounce your dreams and visions to people, when you see them, expect people to have issues. Expect people to doubt you. And when they doubt you, don't be worried. Because that is where you come up. Don't, be, feel, don't feel down. Come out of your lungs and do your best. May the Lord bless you and erase every doubt from your spirit. May the Lord bless you and strengthen your faith. May the Lord bless you and give you a bigger picture of what you are called to do. Now, God bless you. Share this video and let it go viral. My first code that I'm giving today, my first code that I'm giving today is N S H N S H D. So go to my, write on this uh, Facebook and go to my YouTube, number one, subscribe, and number two, leave a comment on my subscription, N-S-H-D, N-S-H-D, to the first five people that will do that, we are going to get a hundred Ghana cities, if you are sad, uh, Ghana, it is hundred dollars. God bless you. So we are continuing. So never lose the fact that blessings of financial blessing come your way because you are able to do a proper accounting of your money. Because no matter how much is given to you, if you are unable to manage it, you lose everything. So if you really want to prosper, make sure you are able to manage the little that you are earning. Yeah. The second thing is that be like Mark and be a good secretary. Everything that you want to do, make sure that you document it. Document agreements. Keep evidences of receipts. Don't throw them away. Have arrangement for everything that you do. The, the, tra the transaction you have with people, the receipts that you buy, your car is on all those things. Some of you, you can find the documents on your car, your car, your land, everything documented. If you have any verbal agreement to anybody, make sure that they put it on paper. Do these things. Jimmy, God bless you. Be next, Marfo, God bless you. So document everything. No matter the, the, the transaction or the agreement you're having with anybody, make sure you document it. It's important. It's important. I'm talking about how to attract wealth. The 12 disciples of money. And today is the second edition. Follow the instruction. Write the code here on Facebook. Go to YouTube. Subscribe on Joris Jordan TV. Joris Jordan TV. And write the code there. And the code I've already mentioned, so I'm not going to repeat it. Write the code there. Write the code there. N S H D. That's the code, but I'm not going to repeat it. So there's um, one more code that will be coming. The first five people 
are the ones I'm going to ballot and give them this money. God bless you. So be like Mark and keep records and proofs of everything when it comes to business, when it comes to money. Keep records. If you really want to attract money, if you really want to attract wealth. The last but not the least, Thomas. Thomas was the, what that's what we call the doubting Thomas. And all that he represented was the ability to be able to bring deep scriptures out of Jesus. In fact, he was the another thing that, one of the things that um, Thomas said and challenged Jesus. It got to a point that they had to go to Judea. And everybody knows that Judea was the one of the dangerous places that Jesus was not supposed to go. And so the disciples were worried that they were going there. So when Jesus said that tomorrow we are going to Judea, the disciples said, no, 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 no. Then Thomas said, wherever you go, Lord, let's go with you and die there. <laughs> Trying to prove to Jesus, okay, and then convincing the other disciples that, listen, we will stand by you wherever you go. But meanwhile, he, as encouraging as he was, he was so doubtful about Jesus. In fact, if I tell you the story about Thomas, when they shared, as I said, they shared the world, all the apostles, this place, this person to go here, this person to go here, he was asked to go to India and he refused to go. So Jesus appeared to one of, the, of a, a sailor and made them sell Thomas as a slave to India. The place that when the ballot is supposed to go that he didn't go, he appeared there. And when he appeared there, he backslided and decided to, uh, to even scam the king in India at that time. And he promised the king that he was going to build uh, a palace for him. And one day when the king said, you should come and tell me the progress of the palace, he told him that I was going to be the palace in heaven for you, not on earth. That was how scheming Thomas was. But later when he got converted again, because when he backslided, he fell out of it. So when he came back, he started planting churches. So these people are people that will fall along the way. These people are people that will doubt your ability. These people are people that will push you to prove a point or to give them a reason to believe you might. In what you are doing but as i said don't give up felix god bless you don't give up when you encounter such challenges because in the midst of these challenges that is where the best comes out of you so that's why these scriptures came out these scriptures came out the best scriptures that you read in the bible the best came out of the reason of thomas profound statements and the challenges that he made to Jesus. The last but not the least quote I'm giving you today. 1975. 1975. Alexander P. God bless you. Please share this video and go to my YouTube, George Jordan TV. Subscribe. And leave a comment. 1975. That is the second code. God bless you. So, I pray for every single person that is watching this video. The Lord wants to get you out of financial struggle. And last week, we spoke on the love that represents John. That you need to have the heart for people. I spoke also on Peter. You have to have faith to be able to dare to do things that nobody's doing when it comes to money, when it comes to business. You need to have power. You need to pray to attract money because the world is full of evil. So you need to pray for protection, pray for money to find you, pray that your blessings will not be taken from you. 
all right but this week i spoke on matthew that represents accountability in your finances i spoke on mark that represents documentation of events and document receipts agreements and stuff like that need to be properly done but the last but not the least is your enemies that will challenge you your doubters that will challenge you thomas he is the one that we are ending this second edition with next week is going to be more powerful and it's going to be three quotes instead of two quotes so please Saturday, the same time, six, uh, six to seven o'clock. Please stay tuned and be a blessing and be blessed as well. God bless you until we meet again. Shalom and peace to you. Bye.